evening. No, kakatapos lang ang uh, pirmahan sa NPC at saka sa PFP. Uh, we, have for, we have formalized an alliance uh, so that uh, we can continue to work together. Mga like-minded naman ang uh, aming mga members. Uh, and uh, informally, the truth of the matter is matagal na talagang magkasama ang mga member ng PFP at saka ng NPC. At uh, mara, madalas nang nag, although informal, uh, may magkaalyado na, magka, dati pang magkaalyado yan. So, uh, it is uh, uh, now, it is formalized and uh, I think that will uh, give added uh, uh, motivation for us to work harder para, para dahil magkasama na kami, pareho aming naiisip, alam uh, pareho ang aming mga na, nagkakasundo kami sa plano uh, so that will make us more effective. Right. Sir, magandang hapon. Gabi po. Madadagdagan pa po ba ang partido sa koalisyon habang papalapit po ang midterm elections? Uh, well, uh, we hope so. Uh, dahil, uh, of course, uh, uh, kagaya ng sinabi ng uh, uh, isang uh, uh, very wise uh, statesman politician, uh, politics is a game of addition. So that is what we are, uh, uh, what we are hoping to achieve. As sir, follow up po, how strong and stable po yung coalition that will ensure the unity of the parties for the midterm elections po? Ah, well, I think um, I, I, it's very natural for uh, people to think that this is, this, is being, this is being done for the midterm elections. Um, of course, that's part of it. But really, it is to formalize what already existed. Uh, it's try, we are trying to uh, put together once again the team and that will work together. And it, it, this really is, derives from our original concept that progress will only come from unity. And what we are thinking of really is uh, how to be more effective, how to be able to work better so that we can help each other uh, try to achieve the same things. Yun ang, yun ang ano dyan. So that's more, for, for me, that's more important. Well, because maybe I'm not a candidate, that's why I'm thinking in those terms. But uh, uh, that, uh, uh, of course, the, the elections coming up are part of it. But also, uh, perhaps uh, uh, equally important are the, are the connections that we make so that we, uh, we become a stronger force for, for progress and peace and progress and stability in the country. Next question from Noel Palakai. Um, Press, uh, question ko po, do you see any flaws in the coalition and how do you think it would be addressed? Any flaws in the? In the coalition. In the coalition? coalition. In the coalition? Yes. Do you see, any, do you see any flaws? How do you think okay. it would be addressed? Flaws? There's any. Yes. Well, uh, the usual thing is that uh, when you approach an election and you are in partnership together, kuminsan, yung ibang partido may kandidato para sa iba, uh, parehong posisyon. And uh, wala, the, yung mga steering committee namin, yun ang mag-uusap, mag uh, magde-decide tayo. Uh, kung hindi, hindi, hindi talaga pwede, uh, wala talagang magawa na kompromiso, uh, di, we will, kuminsan napipilitan tayo mag-free zone. Pero as much as possible, para maayos, uh, gusto namin magkasundo. Uh, doon nga sa mga kung sinong tatakbo doon sa bawat lugar. So, that's the... But every election, ganun eh. Basta't nagsama ang mga partido. Uh, so, we're ready for that and we know how to handle it. Hi, sir. May initial findings na po ba na pinadala sa Malacanian tungkol sa investigation kay Bamban Mayor Alice ko? Oh, no. It's very, very early yet. No, we just started. Well, the Senate had just started their investigation. Uh, as, uh, as I told you before, we have been investigating the, 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 the def now defunct Pogo uh, installation. Hindi namin, pinag hindi namin tinignan, hindi, it never came up. Hindi, hindi lumitaw yung issue ng citizenship, ng ano, all of these things that came up. So yun ngayon ang tinitignan natin. Uh, but there, there, there are 
the, it's, we have uh, a ways to go dahil talagang hinahanap natin kung ano ba talagang totoo. And as I said, there is, an, there is an, uh, also an ongoing uh, investigation by the Senate. So let's allow the executive side and the legislative side to do the work uh, and continue their, ano, uh, their continue our investigations. Well, but wala, wala, pang, ano, wala pang definitive uh, conclusions. Follow up lang po. Yeah. Uh, may recently may lumabas na pictures po ninyo ni Mayor Go nung campaign sorties nung uh, election 2022 and then may nasabi niyo po before na wala na hahakilala sa kanya bago uh, bago siya ma-elect. Uh, any comment po doon? Ano po masasabi niyo po doon? Pictures po ninyo ni Mayor Go nung campaign sorties nung election 2022. That proves nothing. You know how many pictures I take in during a campaign? Siguro isang libo sa isang araw. Malat naman ng mga humingi ng selfie, hindi mo namang hinihindi yan. So, it doesn't really mean anything. Last question from Katrina Domingo. Hi, sir. Good evening. Sir, China reportedly approved the policy which allows the Chinese Coast Guard to detain any perceived um, trespasser in the seas that they claim as theirs. Your no. reaction to this, sir? Well, it's the, that, that kind of action would be completely unacceptable to the Philippines. Uh, we, uh, of course, once again, I do not talk about uh, operational details, so you will, leave it, uh, you will leave it to us. But the position that we take is that uh, uh, that is unacceptable. And we will, and we will uh, take whatever measures to always protect our citizens. All right, sir. A follow-up question. There are also concerns of about wiretapping allegedly being done by uh, Chinese officials mm. and even the Chinese embassy. How? What is your directive on this issue, sir? Directive. The, uh, we, it's just a. Con it, we, we we are looking into it because really the fact of the matter is. Um, there have been there have been um, uh, mentions of a an, a, a tape that uh, that says that confirms that uh, there was this agreement etc all of that and I keep hearing that there is a tape and I keep wanting to hear it and as yet we don't have it so we really it's very hard to come to any conclusion until we know that that the thing actually exists. So you, it's very hard to, it's very hard. It, it, it is in the possession, if it, if it does exist, it's in the possession of the Chinese embassy and the Chinese government. Uh, so until they release it, there's, the, 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 we cannot, we cannot be, we, 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 it is, becomes harder and harder to believe and to accept that there was an agreement. Sir, last, sir, last na you sec, related also to this topic, do you have any um, directives as to whether or not government offices should take extra precaution given we have this kind of issue now? Oh, there's, that's not, uh, the, there's no directive like that. It is our policy and we have been, uh, we have been disseminating that policy to all. Uh, there, there have been already so many departments that were, so many departments and agencies that have been victimized. Uh, and the, I think we're uh, all very aware of the risk of uh, cyber security. Uh, not only, not, not uh, for, for all, all kinds of reasons. Uh, uh, so yes, it, we are very conscious of that. And the DICT, for example, the DO, together with DOST, DOST are working uh, hard together, together with our security services to, to uh, make, uh, more robust our uh, our cybersecurity. Uh, we're, we have we have spoken to many experts and uh, we have taken some of the best uh, uh, people in cybersecurity are actually Filipino, uh, but they're civilians. So we have to bring some of them. We will. I don't know if we can we can find an arrangement for them to work for the military, uh, to work for government agencies. Maybe as a maybe as a free agent. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.